How does this picture make you feel? Dizzy, nauseous, anxious, uncomfortable? I can see that some of you are actually turning away from the screen. It's hard to look at, isn't it? Imagine not being able to just turn it off or look away, but have to feel that way every day. 10% of the people in this world and in this room feel that way every day. And they've been told they have migraines, inner ear problems, anxiety, panic disorder, ADD, and dyslexia. But what they really have are eyes that are slightly misaligned. And the solution? A pair of glasses, a special pair of glasses that realigns their vision. Not a pill, not a surgery, but a pair of glasses. When we think of glasses, we think of something that would help us to see it near and far distances. But who would have believed that a pair of glasses could help us with dizziness, anxiety, headaches, and learning problems? I'd like to tell you about David. David was so dizzy, he was falling often and ended up in a wheelchair to get around. He was so nauseous, he couldn't eat. Wasting away, he ended up in a wheelchair and in a nursing home at the age of 60. And his daughters brought him into the office in his wheelchair. And with a special pair of glasses, he was able to walk out on his own. And then there was Judy. She was having frequent panic attacks on the highway. She became so fearful to drive after seeing many doctors. She also was able, with a special pair of glasses, to be able to get back on that highway and drive again. Do you remember the picture of the four-eyed girl? Well, that's an example of extreme double vision, relatively easy to identify and treat. But most eye misalignments are more subtle in nature and difficult to find. So patients are told, there's nothing wrong with you. It's all in your head. So they see many doctors, try many treatments and medications, and nothing's working because nobody's thinking about a subtle eye misalignment or asking the question, could it be their eyes? My own journey of helping this population began over 20 years ago with my own disbelief. I was sitting with my brother-in-law, Dr. Arthur Rosner, an ear, nose, and throat doctor, when he was holding up a loose prism in front of one of his eyes. I asked him, who gave that to you? He said, in medical school, I was struggling with all the reading, and it was supposed to help me with eye strain. Well, is it helping, I asked? Not really. So being an optometrist, I offered to examine his eyes, and I was able to find a small amount of prism that I could put into his prescription. And he felt better, and reading became easier. But at that time, I didn't quite think about how it all was put together until he called me and said, I need to send you my dizzy patients. I said, what would I do with them? You're going to help them the way you help me. I think they sound like I did before you helped me. It is not their ears. I believe it is their eyes. And Arthur was right. So I began to help dizzy patients. And then they started sharing positive changes. There was a young girl who said, did you give me Valium? I said, no. Is that how you feel? Yes, with these glasses on, I feel so calm and relaxed. Other positive changes were less neck pain, less light sensitivity, and overall fewer headaches. To date, my colleagues and I have seen over 8,000 patients. They've come from doctor referrals, patient referrals, and internet search. They've come to Metro Detroit from the all over the country and all over the world, from as far away as Norway and Australia. With so many people traveling from so far away, I decided we need to train other eye doctors so patients could find the care they needed closer to home. So Teaching Institute was started two years ago. People can be born with this misalignment, or they can acquire it from a head injury. Like Sam, he was in a terrible car accident and ended up with quite a lot of post-concussive symptoms. Or Melissa, she collided with another player on the soccer field, also feeling poorly. Both of them, with a special pair of glasses, felt so much more comfortable with all their incoming symptoms. Traumatic brain injury and concussion are a huge problem for our active soldiers and our veterans. 
The Department of Defense is spending hundreds of millions of dollars looking for solutions without great results. I have to say that I believe one solution is right here. And how do we know this? My colleagues and I have helped many soldiers following blast injury, and they have done very well with their symptoms with a special pair of glasses. In addition to helping adults, we're also helping children, like Ruth Ann, a seven-year-old who came to the office with reading problems. This is a picture of what she drew of her optometrist before the eye exam. Ruth Ann was really struggling in the classroom, and that world was very confusing to her. And worst of all, she thought that was normal. But it doesn't have to be that way. And the same day as the exam, with her special glasses on, Ruthann drew her doctor this way. And I'm happy to tell you, she's no longer struggling in the classroom. Years ago, when Arthur said to me, you cannot let this work die, and you must save the suffering, I didn't quite understand the full magnitude of what he was saying. But what I know now that I didn't know then is we can help them, but how deeply they're truly suffering. Children are failing in the classroom, marriages are destroyed, jobs are lost, and people are losing hope. I just got a call from a young man from England who said, I wish that my dad had known about this condition and this solution because maybe he wouldn't have taken his life. So I believe from my work we can help suffering people. If all of us can share this information with the doctors, the teachers, the veterans, and the athletes, and if all of you can think of this solution you can help your friends, your families, and your relatives to know that a special pair of glasses can hopefully change a life and maybe even save one. Thank you.